today we're gonna go through how to true wheels. Uh, I've purchased a truing stand and I'd like to become self-sufficient in all aspects of bike maintenance. I know how the drivetrain works, I've taken it apart plenty of times, I've put it back together. I know how the headset works, I know how the bottom bracket works. The, the two big things that I'm venturing into are suspension and just recently purchased a truing stand. So we'll be going through how to true wheels. I spent a lot of time reading before I actually have got to the point where I feel comfortable putting my hands on a wheel and truing it up. I've already trued my Blanchard rims, my Diamondback manufacturer rims, and then also a pair of BMX rims that need to be trued. Truing wheels isn't complicated, but it takes time. I would say this is definitely beginner friendly. I don't have a tensioner, like a tension tool to make sure all my spokes are tensioned properly. Going to go on feel. I'll figure it out though. Shout out to my buddy Alan, uh, who just crashed real hard. He has a grade one separated AC joint. I think it's on his left side. If you haven't seen his crash, check it out here. I'll like link a card in one of these corners. It's a bummer, but you know, people go down, people fall. I don't, but that's because I go slow. So this is a true stand I picked up on eBay. It's 30 bucks. It's pretty nice. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not a park tool. It's a Lixta. Great brand. Uh, it does have some nice features though. These have good resistance, so where you put them, it's gonna stay, you can twist them in so you're barely pushing a millimeter. Another feature that you can unscrew and switch so you have a wider rim with like a cassette on. And then uh, this is here is to make sure your wheel's round. So some quick tips that you wanna think about when you're truing wheels is that you wanna go slow. You wanna take your time. You really don't want to do f big movements. You wanna spin the wheel, check it, see if something's rubbing, quarter, tur quarter turns, quarter turns, quarter turns. If you make big movements, it's just gonna take a lot longer. You know, this wheel was super out of true, a lot of loose spokes. So I went through and like tightened all the spokes up beforehand and then spun the wheel. Then I actually went through and I'm doing little corner turns. And as you get closer and closer to actually being true, then you start fine tuning eighth of a turn, eighth of a turn, sixteenth of a turn, and so forth. I'm pretty bad about uploading content consistently. I like writing footage. I make videos because it's fun and I have a child. So I only get about an hour and a half to edit every day. Every day. I also take naps and shower, deal with it. Oh, if uh, if you like this style of video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, you could probably just exit out. But if you feel so inclined, you could give it a thumbs down, leave a comment below and say like, these videos suck. Or hey, I want more like videos of what you're doing. Because I do do all my own bike maintenance. I don't go to a shop because if I have an extra 40 bucks to get my wheels trued, I'm just going to buy a truing stand and learn the skill. Sweet. So thanks for tuning in. Next time, we're going to be talking about this thing. Check in. Hopefully put a video out here in the next, next week or so. I'll try to be more consistent. Maybe.